afternoon, giving God the highest praise. Of the day. I'm Reverend Michael Crouch here to speak to all the ones that's listening on Facebook today. I come to talk from 1 Corinthians the 13th chapter, the 11th verse, where Paul is talking. To, Paul was speaking to the Corinthians. He said, "When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. But now that I'm a man, I put away childish things." And that's what I want to talk about today because I, I know a lot of times, I know we, a lot of people, we go through tests and we go through trials and, and, and temptations and so forth that, that keeps us, that allows us, that keeps us uh, in the down in the valley sometimes and can't get over the hump sometimes. And, but a, a lot of it has got to do, I believe a lot of it has got to do with uh, growing up in Christ Jesus a lot of us, we don't want to grow up spiritually in this walk in Christ Jesus. We want to continue to be babes in Christ. So when, when you once, Paul, when, when, when you once get saved uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe that God has raised him from the dead, you are saved. So you are a babe in Christ spiritually. Your spirit is reborn and you are a babe in Christ. The same way uh, when you were born into this sinful world in, this, in the flesh, in this natural and physical world, you was a baby and your parents, your mother and your father treated you like a baby. Your mother and father took care of you and they raised you up to the best of their, of their ability. The same way uh, it is in the spiritual life, when spiritual world, when 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 you when you become a new creature in Christ Jesus, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are a babe in Christ. So, in other words, you begin. So God allows you, God pampers you, and God take care of you, take care of you, and put people in your uh, pathway uh, to to lead you to to nourish you up. To, for you to grow in this walk in Christ, you, you, you're a babe in Christ. You got to grow up to kindergarten. You got to grow up to the first grade. You got to grow up to the middle school. You got to grow up to the senior in college, and then you graduate in this spiritual walk in Christ Jesus. But a lot of us, uh, a lot of us Christian people, uh, what we want to do, we want to stay a babe. Uh, and, and see, that's. So that's 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 got a lot to do with us being down in the valley all the time. It's got a lot to be with do with us can't get over the hump sometimes. It's got a lot to do with us not being able to get our prayers answered sometimes because we don't want to grow up. Cause see this the way same way you your parents spanked you or whooped you when you was to get you to do right when you mess up. That's the way, same way God does. He chastises us. See, the thing of it is in this spiritual walk in Christ, when God chastises us, we don't want to be obedient and go through the test. We don't want to go through the trial. Instead of us going through and, and learning and being elevated where God wants us to grow up, we go try to get somebody to pray for us to get it off us. And, and, and see, then, then when that prayer don't work, then you go on and on and on, trying to wonder why you're going through and wonder why it's always you, why me. you always going through this, you always going through that. That's because you don't want to grow up. God ain't going to continue to keep you, uh, pamper you as a baby. He wants you to grow up. He wants you to be able to pray for yourself sometime. He wants you to be able to uh, lift your, to help others. As you grow up, the way others have helped you. So, so that's why Paul said, "When I was a child, I spoke as a child." So, when when you was a child in, in this in this physical or uh, in this physical world in your, in your flesh, you spoke as a child. And then, as you begin to grow up into kindergarten and and on into school, you begin to learn. You been to learn how. Learn how to live, and learn how to uh, you learn how to walk and crawl, then you learn how to walk, then you learn how to, 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 to do schoolwork. You just grown up in Christ, and, and it's the same way. And the spiritual walk is just a babe in Christ. Well, we ought to be where well, we got teachers. Also, when you got teachers in this physical world, your natural body to teach you mathematics and, and, and uh, English and science and all the schoolwork. The same way it is when God had in this 
in this spiritual walk, he helped put teachers and preachers and apostles and evangelists and pastors and teachers to teach you and to grow you up in Christ Jesus. So that's what the fivefold ministry is for also, is to help us in, 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 to grow up in Christ, to grow up into to going up to high school, going up to college, going up to get your doctor's degree and master's, then you graduate. You know, well, in this walk in Christ Jesus, you never graduate. You just continue to grow. Because, see, there's a limit in this uh, natural world. There's no limit in everlasting life in this spiritual world. So so we what, what I'm trying to get over to everyone is, if you go over, if you continually, continually uh, going through and going through and going through, God could be chastising you. You could be getting a spanking because you don't want to grow up. Uh, and, and a lot, I see, I see it a lot. You know, sometimes people don't want to grow up. They continue to go through. They continue to fall. They continue to come up short. You go get a uh, uh, preacher to pray for you. You go get songs to pray for you. And it does no good. You're still going through and going through. And you, 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 uh, you need to go through your t uh, temptation. Go through your trial. Whatever the trial God has set before you, you need to go through your tr through your trial. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So that's what I wanted to talk about today: us growing up in Christ Jesus. You know, because we when we grew up, we went as a, in the physical realm. We grew up, we went to school and graduate and go to college like we're supposed to. That's what we do in the spiritual walk. We do we do the same thing. I know a lot of times. I know a lot of times it, it seems like we can't can't just find we can't find our way. We just can't make it. We sometimes we seem like we just can't make it. It's why me? Why I got there? Always had to be me going through this. <clears throat> so I'm here to help you to grow <clears throat> to grow. Excuse me to grow up in Christ Jesus. Amen. So in order for you to grow up in Christ Jesus, you got to have a willing mind. You got to have a willing heart yourself to want to grow up. You they want to learn and to know God. Because in, in Hebrews 11, 6, it is, it is impossible to please him without faith. He that diligently seek him. You know, so you got to be, want, you got, it's something you got to want. You got to want this thing, you know. Jesus has already made the way for you, but we got to want to, uh, want to know God. We got to have a, our own relationship with God. We got to have our own, uh, uh, uh own, uh, uh personal relationship with God. In other words, your mother and your father can't get a relationship with him for you. Uh, your preacher can't do it for you. You got to do this yourself. You got to get to know God for yourself. You got to want to know God for yourself. And once you get once you get that far, you'll begin to grow in Christ Jesus. In order for you to grow in Christ Jesus, you're going to have to get under a, a ministry, get under uh, a man of God <clears throat> to help you to grow. It's just like a teacher. Uh, when you uh, when you start going to school, they teach you on you know they got the first grade teacher, the second grade teacher, and go on up to the twelfth grade. See that what and see you know you got to have a you go know, you preach you got to have a preacher that's gonna take you from a kindergarten or from a, from a babe. You got to have a preacher that's gonna take you from a babe all the way up to you graduate. And so that's what that's what the uh, that's what the preachers are for. Teachers are for. To help you learn, to help us to learn, to uh, to uh, to grow in Christ Jesus. So when you when you get up under somebody, you find yourself growing. You know you're in the right place. Amen. So continue, uh, and you got to, you not only do you got to listen to the preacher to help you grow in Christ. You got to want to get in the Word for yourself. Get in the Word for your. I don't care if you don't read but a script today or whether you get in the Word for yourself. If you're like me, I want to know God for myself. I didn't I didn't want nobody to go by what nobody else say. I want to know God for myself. And once I know God for myself, I, it, that's, I know Him now. It, it, it's, a, it's a joy and it's a peace to know God for yourself. It's a joy and a peace to know that God loves you and know that God don't, God ain't mad at you. God ain't mad at you no more. God ain't never been mad with you. God sent his son for you, to die for you on the cross because he so loved, so loved you 
And so it makes a difference when you know God and know that God, that God ain't mad at you, you know God cares of you, you know God loves you, and, 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 and he wants you to be happy, he wants you to be free, he wants you to be prosperous, he wants you to walk in divine health. God wants all those things for his children the same way you want for your children. You don't want to see your children uh, sick and afflicted. You don't want to see your, your uh, children in lacking in poverty. See, test and trial. God allows tests and trials to come to grow you up. But one thing, my, he doesn't allow a sickness and disease and, and, and uh, to come on you. To, he don't allow those things. But he allowed the things of the world. He, he tests you with. He allowed tests and trials of the world, things of the world to come on you. But sickness and disease, that's a done deal. You already healed. So he does. God don't allow sickness to come on you to allow you to grow up. He don't allow disease and all those and so forth uh, stuff like that to come on you to allow you to grow up. That's already been taken care of by Jesus Christ, His Son, on the cross. But, uh, 1 Peter 2 24 by his stripes we were healed so we have already been healed he took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses on the cross that, that, so that's not he don't allow te tests and trials like that to come on you he allow tests and things of the world to come on you to, to allow you to grow up things of this world he, he allowed those things to come on you to allow you to grow up in Christ Jesus in other words you, might, you ain't going to have it your way all the time you know a lot of people, your way of mind, your way of the highway, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be your way all the time. That's why you get chastised. That's why you try to do this and you try to do that. It, ain't, it might not be for you to do that and do that. God chastises us in, in, in many, many ways. And, but it's for our own good, for us to grow up. <coughs> Excuse me. It's for us to grow up in Him. Amen. So this is what I this is my, uh, come to talk to y'all about. As you, uh, before I leave y'all, Paul said, I spoke as a child. He, and he said, I was a child, I spoke as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. So, as this walk with Christ Jesus, once you obey, once you grow up, once you uh, uh, become a child of God and begin to go in the, go in the church and grow, you got to put away childish things. No way, you got to king. That's why the scripture says you're a new creature in Christ. You don't want to do those. You don't do those things no more. You don't grow up now. You know, like me, I was a, I was a drug addict. I was an alcoholic. I was all all the above. But I put away those childish things. That's just childish, crazy, stupid things to me now because uh, I I became a man in Christ Jesus. Once you grow up in Christ Jesus, you don't want to do those child. Those things are childish things. You don't want to get high. That's childish. You know, uh, you don't grow up now. You know, if you're still getting high, then you ain't grown up yet. If you're still stealing and, and stuff like that, then you ain't grown up yet. What you need to do is to get in Christ Jesus, stay in Christ Jesus, and grow in Christ. Get in a good, good, good church and grow in Christ Jesus. And quit doing those foolish things. Uh, uh, you don't... I, when I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became a, a, a man, when when I got in Christ Jesus, I grew up in Christ Jesus. And when I grew up in Christ Jesus, I put away those childish things, and I became a new creature in Christ Jesus. And that's what we have to do. You got to become a new creature, and you become a new creature in Christ Jesus. And you put away those. That's why the scripture. That's why the scripture says you don't. You you're a new creature. You're a new creation. You don't want to do those things no more that you used to do. You don't want to go to the places that were what you used to go. That's childish when you when you begin to grow in Christ Jesus. You look back on those 